Uh, Martina asks, uh, hello, I have created a SharePoint communication site for my org. I have a homepage and a page for each team within the org. The homepage has a news web part, and I would like each team to have its own news web part. However, when I add the news web part to the individual team home pages, it pulls in the news from the homepage. Is there any way to add page specific new web parts? News web parts. News web parts. <laughs> Um, it could yeah, be a new absolutely. news. New news. <laughs> new news individual. <laughs> individual web part. And for some subcultures, <laughs> new nude news web parts as well as well. But that, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> when you edit a web part, when you add the web part, you can edit the web part. And you there's two different types of filters on there. You can create filter by category. So that if you have categories assigned to your different web, news web parts, you can target specific categories and it will filter based on that. Or you can say, I just want the news from these specific um, websites. Or you, know, you can say the scope of it. Is it all of the sites? Is it just this site? Or there are checkboxes for these sites that are in your organization. So you absolutely can target that and focus in on what you're looking for. Yeah, that that's a, uh, uh, you know, so the out of the box, the way by default, it's an aggregator, but yeah, you can go in and personalize any of those. Yeah, you can tweak it and I'll, I'll do a blog post for that just specifically for Martina, but I think it's a great tip and something that, you know, a lot of people are looking for. So that's a really good one. Thank you, Martina. But I mean, on the on the flip of it, I also say you do have to be a little careful. How many news parts? Who's keeping up? Who's assigned as a comms team? Um, I, you know, I've seen it where there's a ton of internet pages, and then they start doing that and dis disassociating, you know, from one to the next, to the next, and then it all just falls over within a couple of months, and you've got all these old news parts, and so it kind of goes, well, you know, what's the strategy? when you do that too and be really careful on your strategy when it comes to something like a news part for comms one thing yeah, I that totally i totally agree I, with that I, I was going to say that one thing is part of your like provisioning process and you identify an owner of of a site and that's part of the ownership of that i mean if it for i, I so i know that the teams and the sites that i own that i get regulars using the tools the automation that we have built out the provisioning we do when we go and set that up there every 90 days I have to go in there and reaffirm the purpose of that, the the components, uh, you know, as, as part of that. So that you can build that into your governance process as well to do that a review on a regular on a regular basis to make sure that hey, is this still relevant? Are the parts that we have still relevant? And yeah. to kind of force you to go back and to relook at the decisions that you made. It, if you're active within that site, it's probably not going to be an issue. But stuff changes so fast. That's right. That would actually be so. I would actually th ask that question if, like, if you're running into this where you're finding that three, four months down the line that it's gotten out of control. Like, did you really need that site then? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And or even that yeah. web that web part or whatever that looks like. Yeah, something to put into your blog, Sherry. All those things, you know, rather than just <laughs> the here's the here's the button to turn it on. It's like, well, why? And what's your strategy? And what's your governance? <clears throat> Absolutely. Well, and, and you made a good point, Christy, because you have too many cooks in the kitchen Absolutely. and the people creating those posts or what's posted as news yeah. need to know yeah. that they need yeah. to set it with a specific category for it to display. Uh, otherwise, it's yeah. not going to display. Yeah. I've no, even I've used um, comms, managed comms metadata plan. as an option. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I've seen it with comms plans where it's then out of their control completely and then going, hang on a second, news is actually going up across whole business units. They're not seeing our news. They're only seeing their news because they're not looking at the our web part. They're only looking kind of at their own news. So there's no strategy across the board. There's no, you know, that control and governance. So it's like, well, OK, well, what? What does that what does that look like yeah <laughs> it really makes you wonder how much of the chaos in the world could just be related to um you know uh chaotic uh, news parts that are floating around on sites <laughs> that aren't managed i mean we i think there's research that needs to be done there so <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, oh, no news is good news right <laughs> not necessarily <Yeah. laughs>